Okay, welcome back. This is the start of day three. I believe the first witness is another member of the Carlson clan. Let's hope he's a little more respectable than his younger brother and his dad. Mr. Anderson, who is the next witness? State calls Anthony Carlson. Okay, Mr. Carlson, please come forward. A little closer. All the way up. There you go. Face the clerk. Raise your right hand. She will administer the oath. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give in this matter shall be the truth, that will truth, and nothing but the truth that will be that? Yes, sir. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your first and last name for the record? Anthony Carlson. And Anthony, do you go by a nickname? Tony. Tony, um, how old are you? 24. Wow. He's older than the rest of them, but he's, he's still pretty young. And so far, the only adults I've seen aren't really the best examples of adults, if you ask me. And are you Dante Carlson's older brother? Yes. What city and state do you live in? St. Paul, Minnesota. And do you work? Yes. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at a lot for Recovery Industries. Is that a solar industry? Uh, no, Recovery Industries is a towing company. Okay. And you were tubing with your brother and other people on July 30, 2022? Yes. And at some point, did you notice, were you alerted to something going on on the river? Yeah. Can you describe what you remember about that? Uh, we were just floating down the river, and then we heard some screaming across the river, and then eventually I do remember them yelling it for help. And at first we sat there for a moment, and then my father said to go over there and help or, like, de-escalate the situation. And as I was going over there, I mean, I saw someone get hit, someone scream, don't hit a girl, and then everything else ensued. And... Did you actually go over there and try to de-escalate, break things up? Yes. As I, as I went over there, I started uh, yelling at people to back up and get away. I don't remember exactly who I was yelling at. I know I was yelling at everyone in the situation, not just one side or the other. And, Tony, were you uh, drinking on the river? Yes. And if your medical records say your BAC was 0 0.119, would that sound about right? Uh, yes. I don't, I don't know exactly, uh, you know. BAC and how it works. Okay. Do you think you're intoxicated? Yes. Do you see yourself in that image? I do. And which one are you? Uh, wearing the jean shorts in the back in front of Quentin Carlson and behind AJ Martin. Okay. You're just walking up at this point? Yes, trying to figure out what's going on. I just heard a bunch of yelling and such. I'm going to pause here at 2826. Is that you walking by? Yes. <clears throat> and 2844, looks like you're getting between Mr. Mew and the guy filming? Yes. And I, and you're, what, what did you say you're yelling at people to do? I was yelling at them to back up and get away. Looks like I'm on 2900. It looks like up to this point, your attention was to somebody off to the right. Now you're turning back towards Mr. Mew. Uh, I was turning back towards the group, yeah, to see who else needed to be. You know, if anybody was still escalating anything or what was going on, I was just trying to separate everyone. And I'm going to back up here at 2924. Looks like you're pointing and 
yelling something in the direction of Mr. Mew? Yeah. Um, I mean, from my recollection, I saw him, like, walking up towards the others, so I was going up to him to tell him to stop and to walk away, or get away. Mr. Anderson, I'm having a little bit of a hard time hearing you. Oh, sorry. You're used to mic or speak up, please. Sure. Thank you. And what are you doing at this point in the video? Uh, there was a lot of yelling going on, and I was telling him to walk away, but it looked like he was walking up to the girls in my group, so I was trying to get his attention, so I just put my hand on his back. So after you put your hands on his back, telling him to walk away, what happened? Uh, at the time, I thought he was going in to try and punch me, so I tried to hit his hand down and then I mean he went at me again never ever put your hands on someone who's being attacked you should always go after the threat first and did you actually were you actually able to hit his hand away the first time um yeah I mean it like I knocked it down and then um I have a scar right here from when I knocked it down the knife hit and just scratched and then after that he came again and stabbed me And I, like I said, at the time, I didn't know. I thought it was just a punch. Did you think, did you realize anyone was getting stabbed at that point? No. So what kind of fight did you think you were breaking up? I, I mean, I just thought it was, you know, something other. Or like they were yelling at each other about something. I didn't know exactly what, but I was just trying to de-escalate it. And did you, did you see Madison Cohen get punched? I didn't see necessarily her get punched, but I did hear uh, you don't ever hit a woman. Showing you what's been marked as Exhibit 35. What is that? That is the scar from when I blocked the knife down. And is there something above that? Yeah, the stab wound. So you, you said one time you kind of blocked it. Uh, which, which injury is that on here? Uh, the lower one. The one that kind of looks like a V? Yep. And then yes. did one strike actually was penetrate? Yes. And where's that one? Uh, under the bandage there. It looks like, is, it, is this after you're at the hospital? Uh, this is right as I'm leaving the hospital, yes. If you know, is that, is it look like it's bleeding through the Band-Aid or is that just the tone of the Band-Aid, do you know? No, it was bleeding a little bit through the Band-Aid from the stitches. Did you, do you remember ever seeing the ni a knife in Nikolai's hand? No. Have you watched and listened to the portion of the video that I just went through with you? Um, yeah. If you would like, you can play it again. Though. Do you um, hear yourself in that video saying back up or get back, something like that? I believe I do, yeah. Is it fair your memory is not perfect from that day? No. <clears throat> is there a lot you don't remember? Yes. I'm just going to put a C for cameraman, fair? Yes. Yeah. And so it's that camera is facing that way. And then you got the frame. What? You got you somewhere there and you're somewhere off to the right of the frame? Yeah. Okay. That is correct. I just put a T for Tony, but I wrote it sideways. Now, um, those aren't your hands, are they? No. Do you know who was there? Uh, now I do, yes. Okay. At the time, you didn't know who that was. No. Now you now you know it to be Isaac, but you had no yes. idea who it was at the moment. So, would he have been kind of just to your left? It Did seems you know, yeah. foundation sustained. Well, a few frames ago, you were off. Were you off frame to the right? Yes. 
Isaac here is off frame to the right. Yes. Objection, he has no foundation. He doesn't have a memory. If I... Well, hold on, hold on. I'll sustain, I'll, sustain on foundation, but I think the, the would, questions are being, being framed in a way that's leading us to this place. Sure. You can just rephrase your, rephrase your questions. It might help. Judge, I'll, I'll just move on. All right. You can take it down. So I want to, I forgot to ask you a clarifying question about your, that, the V-shaped wound. So do you remember how his hand came at you when you kind of blocked it away? Um, I mean, it, it went like this, but at first, I mean, I just thought it was a punch. I didn't, I think he was just going for a low jab, but uh, I tried hitting it down with my arm okay. and then he came back up. The second one is the one that got you higher? Yes. Do you remember... Um, Telling law enforcement that after he, Nikolai stabbed you, you punched him? I do. And is that on the video? No. Do you believe you're mistaken on that? Yes. I don't have anything else. Mr. Nelson? Thank you. Sir, so you said you're, uh, you were intoxicated, right? Yes. Um, you were with a, uh, some of your family and other friends, correct? Yes. You were there on the river. Um, <clears throat> Celebrating, correct? For my father's birthday, yes. Um, you're also there with Madison Cohen? Yes. Um, celebrating her birthday as well? I mean, I came there for my father's birthday. Understood. Um, he had no judgment in it, but others were celebrating her birthday, correct? Yes. She was celebrating her own birthday, correct? Yes. Um, there's a photo that I think we've seen of the 10 of you standing on there on the river. Have you seen that photo? Yep. You remember that photo? Yes. Uh, you and I think three or four other people are uh, holding a beer up to your lips and it looks like you're consuming the beer at that time. Do you remember that? Yes. Um, part of that photo was to document your guys drinking alcohol, correct? I'm going to object on waste of time. I'm going to object on waste of time. I think it's cumulative. It's established. I, I got this witness. Overruled. You were document the, the photo was to document all of you together, correct? Yes. And for whatever reason, four of you decided that when the photo was taken, you wanted to make sure that you were drinking a beer, right? Yes. Okay. Fair to say that you wanted to document your drinking beer. It was not more or less that we wanted to document it. It was just that we were having a fun time with our family. Sure. And in that moment, we all just made the decision to have it set. Okay. And... Um, you have a brother, Dante, right? Yes. You're a little, you're older than him? Yes. A little bigger than him? Yes. Uh, he was drinking? Yes. You were drinking? Yes. A.J. Martin was drinking? Yes. Riley Madison was drinking? Yes. Madison Cohen was drinking? Yes. Again, I'm sure you weren't keeping track of everybody else, but it looked like everybody else was consuming at about the same rate that you were consuming? No. Do you know who was doing what? I don't, know. Okay. Um, so they could have been drinking more, they could have been drinking the same, they could have been drinking less, you don't know? Uh, based off of knowing them in the past, I know they don't. Okay. You're the bigger consumer? Yes. Okay. You talked to the police um, when you got out of the, that same day, or the next day on July 31st, is that right? I believe it was the same day. That I, I don't remember exactly. You didn't stay overnight in the hospital? I, I don't believe so. Okay. So it must have been the same day and I got my date wrong, which is fine. But you did speak with the police, right? Yes. And you realize that that's uh, recorded, correct? Yep. And if you, as part of your preparation for this, did you get a chance to watch that recording? No. They didn't show you that? Uh, I believe they did uh, a while back, but I don't, I don't remember it now. Oh. I just want to go over some of the things that you said to the police then to see if those, how they track with today, okay? Okay. Uh, one of the first things that you said to them is, um, I don't remember much about it. You told them that, correct? Yes. You also said, uh, I don't remember a lot, but what I remember is floating down the river, and then you started to give some of the details, or some of the overview of what you remember. I believe so. Makes sense? But again, you'd said the second time, I don't remember a lot, right? Yes. And you spoke about that for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds, and then at around the four-minute mark, you said, that's all I remember. Agreed? I don't remember, so I, I don't know. And right after that, you were telling them that you have a certain medical condition. Is that right? 
Yes. You do have a medical condition, correct? Yes. And I don't want to pry too much. I results in your having the potential for seizures, correct? Yes. Um, and obviously you're aware of that, correct? Yes. And I would imagine that medical condition uh, probably changes how you go through life, correct? I would say yes. You try to avoid certain things because of this fragility that you may have, correct? No. You, you don't want to have seizures, right? Yes. And there are certain things that you know maybe make you more vulnerable to seizures, correct? Yes. And I would imagine you probably go through life trying to avoid those instances in which you would put yourself at risk of a seizure, correct? What, what are these instances? I, I don't know. It's not my are, Wait, uh, stop, stop, please. I've got three people talking at the same time. Oh, okay. I can't have that. And you have to speak up, Carl. I, can't, I can barely hear you. I have even lost track where we are. He says, well, let me just go. Start over. Skip ahead and go to something. This condition, you told the police, um, you said, uh, I was on the verge of having a seizure, and every time I have one, I just don't remember ever anything, and I was blanking out a lot. That's what you told the police, correct? Yeah, if that's what the report says, I don't remember. Okay. Um, you don't remember telling them you don't remember that you blanked out. Yes. Okay. Um, your experience is, though, when you're on the verge of having a seizure, that impacts your ability to remember things, correct? After I have the seizure, yes. Okay. Sure. Then your whatever your memory was, it's kind of erased, right? Not erased. I mean, once things are explained, I do re reconcile throughout my memory a bit, and then okay. it is brought up in... And is it actually... Is it in a memory, or do you just deduce what must have happened by using deductive reasoning? Or do you actually have a memory in your head of seeing something of that happened? When, when certain things are brought up, I do have slight memories of things like reconciling in my brain. Okay. But what you told the police is you were blanking out a lot, correct? If that's what the report says, yes. And that's, as you sit here today, you remember that you told the police you were blanking out because you were, in fact blanking out a lot on July 30th, 2022, when you were on the river in that stressful situation? No. You weren't blanking out? Uh, not in that moment. I mean, obviously, it's been a long time now, so the memories are flawed, I would say. But in that moment when it happened, I was not blanking out or having a seizure <laughs> onset. So. Do you know why you would have told the police uh, I just don't remember anything, and I was blanking out a lot. Yes, because afterwards I was holding my friend's intestines. And I appreciate that that was a traumatic experience for you. I didn't mean to imply that it was anything but. But what you were saying is the blanking out happened with your dealing with the after effects of this event. The trauma, yes. Okay. All right. I want to go through some of what you said here. Um, what I know for sure is you said you never saw the knife, correct? Correct. Um, you went over there, you must have seen some things, correct? What do you mean by that? Well, we saw the slide where you walk over and you're kind of coming over late compared to when everybody else is there. Would you agree with that? Yes. Uh, and when you come over at some point, you see who you now know is Mr. Mew get hit, correct? Yes. And you, you see it's your brother that's hitting him, correct? I didn't at the time. Okay. You just knew somebody had hit him, correct? Yes. And you knew, you said, you said, I was yelling at people to back up. I was yelling at everyone, not just one side or the other. That's what you said, correct? Yes. And let's just talk about the sides here for a moment, okay? On the one side, there was 13 people. Agreed? I didn't know at the time, but now I do, yes. And on the other side, there was Mr. Mew, correct? Yes. And so when you approach, you see Mr. Mew, the, the member of one, he got hit, correct? I, at the time, I didn't know who had gotten hit. I just was telling everyone to separate. Sure. You saw a person that got hit, correct? Yes. And that person was Mr. Mew, correct? Yes. And that person was down in the water, correct? Yes. And people on the other side continued to hit Mr. Mew, the one person that was down in the water, correct? 
by the time I was over there, I didn't see that. I was just separating people. But whatever it was you saw at that point, you, you were yelling back up, telling people to stop, correct? Yes, because I saw a large group together. I just saw a you bunch saw. of bodies together. I didn't see right. anything specific. And those bodies were all around Mr. Mew, the person who had got hit and was in the water, correct? I didn't know who was surrounding who. Well, you agree that one person can't surround anyone, agreed? Yes. So you agree if there's somebody being surrounded, it would be Mr. Mew, correct? Objection. has to answer, he said he doesn't know who was being surrounded. Sustained. So just want to make sure it's clear. You don't know who was being surrounded, but you saw somebody being surrounded, correct? No, I just saw a large group in a, like a huddled conversation. They were all yelling, like. Okay. And then did you see this before or after you saw Mr. Mew get hit in, in the water? Like when I saw him, I didn't see him get hit. I just saw someone get hit. Okay. You saw the after effects of someone getting hit. Yes. And what that was is you saw that someone falling into the water. Yes. And then you saw that someone being converged upon by others. Yes. And then you saw that someone essentially being surrounded, correct? So yes. Time-wise. Sustained. We've been through this. And when you see that someone being surrounded, no, that's... Actually, he said he doesn't remember that. He just wait, answered. Wait, wait, please. Please. Let's get the question out. If there's an objection to the complete question, make it. I'll make a ruling. When you saw that one person being surrounded, that's when you started yelling at people to back up and get away, correct? No. Well, we the testimony is he didn't know if anyone was surrounded. He went up to a group of people. So it is repetitive, sustained. Next question, please. You would said you were uh, trying to separate everyone. Well, let me take a second. We watched through the slides starting at 2779 through, I think, 2924. Do you remember when he went through those slides? Yes. And at one point there, you said you were trying to separate everyone. You agree that's what you said? Yes. And when you were trying to separate everyone, what at that point you had observed is one person getting hit, correct? I didn't see him getting hit. I just saw that he was on the ground for a moment and I was focused on telling people to back up. What we know is you never saw him with a knife, correct? Yes. So you weren't telling people to back up from him because you were worried about him. You were telling people to back up from him because you wanted them to stop beating him up, right? No, I wanted everyone to step away because I didn't know what the situation was again. And what you saw was someone was getting beat up. I saw a lot of people around each other. Obviously one was in the water, so I just told them to back up. When you were there, did you hear the, you said there's one side and another side. Did you hear one side yelling predator? I don't recall. Did you hear one side yelling, he's looking for little girls? I believe at one point I heard someone not yell that over to our group. Okay. You don't know whether that's true or not. Agreed? I didn't give it much thought, but no. I do you not just know, know it's true or not. You just know you heard that, correct? Yes. Whether it's true or not, that's for somebody else to decide. Agreed? Agreed. You, uh, did you also hear them screaming when you got over there, we got it on camera, we got it on camera, we got it on camera? Did no, you hear I that? did not hear that. Okay. You don't know whether that's true either? No. You also heard you said um, he hit a woman, correct? Yes. You don't know whether that's true, do you? No, I don't, but I mean... You didn't see it, correct? Correct. All you know is you heard somebody say something on the... Right? Correct? Yes. And if you watch the recording, correct? Yep. We've heard lots of things on that recording, agreed? Yes. You don't know whether those things that the people said on the recording are true or not, do you? No. If you see it, I would imagine then you know it's true. Hard not to if you see it. Agreed. You, when you spoke with the police, you were asked some questions and you said, uh, on direct, you'd said that you told the police, I punched the guy, correct? Yes. And by the guy, you meant Mr. Mew? Correct. The one, correct? Yes. At that moment, when you told that to the police, you said that because you believed it was true, correct? Yes. Wait, what? That... That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do that? Now, today, 20 months later, you believe it's not true, correct? Yes. 
And the reason you initially said it, and now, oh, I should say, the reason it's changed is you've watched the video? Yes. Okay. So, for whatever reason, you got it wrong to begin with, correct? Yes. And you could have got it wrong because you were intoxicated, right? That could be one reason. You could have got it wrong because there was a stressful situation, correct? Yes. Uh, you, I can't imagine, but you could have got it wrong because you just told an untruth, correct? Yes. It doesn't sound like you would tell an untruth to say you punched a guy when you didn't. Make sense? Yes. Um, but that could be another reason, correct? Yes. Is there any other reason why you would have said something happened when it didn't happen other than those that I've given you? Well, after you know having my memory refreshed with the video, I believed that I thought I had punched him because when he had stabbed me, um, he was pushed back, and in my memory everything happened so fast, so I just thought maybe that was me that had done that. Okay. And I thought maybe I had punched him. Yeah. And on that day, I'm sure you were still processing all kinds of things out, right? Yes. And on that day, you hadn't had a chance to watch the video, correct? Yes. On that day, when you said those things, you weren't intentionally lying, correct? No, I was not. I think, as you've said already to the jury, like, my memory might be flawed, correct? Yes. Just like, probably like anybody else's memory in that sort of situation, correct? I agree. And you might say things that un you don't intend to be a lie, but just are wrong, correct? Yes. Because you're trying to explain this traumatic event that happened, correct? Yes. All right. The extent of, we saw the picture of you, and there was the scratch on your left hip, right? Yes. And then there was a bandage on your uh, torso on the left side, correct? Correct. Those are all in the front of your body, correct? Mm. Your injuries were to the front, correct? Yes. They were, they were when the two of you were in contact with each other, facing each other, correct? Yes. And the extent of your injury in that situation was you got two stitches, correct? I don't remember how many stitches I had. Okay. Uh, with the, if you, I told you the medical record said two stitches, would you have anything, reason to disagree with that? I don't remember, so no. Sound about right? Yes. All right. And what we saw in the video... Do you have a memory of that, or are you just telling us what you saw in the video? I, I, let me back up. That was a poor question. I want to ask you about the time just before you uh, put your hands on Mr. Mew, okay? Okay. Do you have a memory of that, or are you just, for lack of a better term, and maybe there's a better term, narrating what you see on the video? No, I remember. Okay. So you remember that he's got his back to you, correct? Well, I don't necessarily remember that he had his back to me. I do remember separating everybody, though. It okay. wasn't, you know, intended at one person or the other. It was towards everyone to back away. Okay. So you remember approaching a person, a someone, correct? Yes. And you put your hands on, one hand was on the person's back, correct? I mean, I gave him a light tap because there was a lot of yelling, and I was trying to get his attention away from the girls that he was walking towards. That's you, correct? Yes. That's you reaching your left hand out in the direction of what we now know as Mr. Mew, correct? Yes. And as I slide forward, that's you pressing your hand up against him, correct? Yes. You can see your hand, your fingers making an indentation in the, his back and his skin there, correct? Yes. And then as we slide through, you put your then right hand on his right upper arm, Agreed? I can't see that. You see your right hand there? I, yes, I do. You see it then going against his arm? It's blocked from the frame, but... Do you remember pushing him in that moment? No. You would agree that's not gentle what you're doing right now? I would say it is. Okay. And as you're here, this is where we see your face, correct? Yes. Are you now yelling at him? I don't remember what I was saying at the moment. I do remember. I understand the content. The volume was yelling. Agreed? I think I was trying to raise my voice enough to where over everyone else screaming and yelling yes. So you agree that the volume was yelling. There may be reasons why you wanted to yell, but you agree you were yelling. I, like I said, I don't remember. The, if you could play it, I could tell you if I was yelling or not. Okay. I apologize. That's all right. Um, and this is where your 
you see your hand now on his upper arm on the uh, right side there? With yes, you? I do. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's just go grab a hold of the guy who's had his head punched in repeatedly. Bad choices. And it's this moment where you have come up from Mr. Mew from behind and put your hands on him and, if not a push, you've certainly pressed against him. Agreed? Agreed. And it's in this moment when you're coming up from behind, yelling at him, pressing up against him, he's already was previously down in the water. Agreed? I mean, I'm not pressing against him here. I was directing him, I guess, away. I want to show you some more pictures of just something before that, okay? That's you in the jean shorts, correct? Yes. Yes? Yes. And that's Mr. Mew down in the water to your left? Yes. You know now as you've watched the video that this is the second time he's been pushed down into the water. Agreed? Yes. At that time, you also knew, because you remember seeing somebody hit him and pushed him down, and then AJ pushed him down. You remember he'd been knocked into the water a second time as well, correct? Objection, the testimony was he saw oh, No, 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 no. Come on up. All right, let's continue, Mr. Nelson. Thank you. So, continue the questions here on, at this time, if you could put yourself back, and I understand you might not be able to, you had knowledge that he'd been knocked down into the water two times. Fair to say? At that moment, I did not know he was knocked down two times. After re-watching the video, yes. Okay, so it, again, back on July 30th, you know he's down in the water at least, correct? Yes. He's down in the water, right? Yes. And you're near him, correct? Yes. And as I scroll through this, we can see that he reaches his left hand up to grab onto you, correct? Did it, that would appear to be? I didn't know if he was grabbing for me, but sure. I, I don't remember. We don't, you don't know other than it didn't cause you harm, correct? No, Agreed? it did not. It didn't cause you pain, correct? Correct. He may have been trying to grab yeah. a hand to lift himself up. He may have been trying to push you over. He may have been trying to slap you. You don't know. It just didn't cause you harm. Agreed? Agreed. Now, just before this, where we see that, it appears as if somebody's kind of pushing you out of the way. Does that look like that's the case? I think I was more or less like traveling through the water and walking my way through them. Sure. And it, we see a, a dark arm pressed up against you, correct? Yes. And we see you making an expression that appears as if you're not liking whatever contact you're receiving. Agreed? No, I think at that point I'm yelling. Okay. Are telling people to back off. You're telling people to back off, right? Yes, everyone. Back off, get away from the guy that's down in the water. I didn't, I was telling everyone to get, get back. Sure. At that point, there's one guy in the water, correct? Yes, but I wasn't focused on that. I was focused on separating everyone. Okay. And now as we scroll through, Mr. Mew here has the knife in his right hand, correct? You see, you see that? Yes. And as you're, just before that, that's your foot, that's your body, you're right there, correct? Yep. You are not wounded in that moment, correct? Correct. You're right in his, near him, correct? Correct. He does not reach the knife out and stab you, correct? Looks like he's trying to hold himself up. My question was, he doesn't reach out and stab you, agreed? Agreed. Um, you are not... You don't receive the wound that is the causes the two stitches until after you've approached him from behind and tried to redirect him while you're yelling, correct? Yes, correct. So it's not until you engage with him that he engages with you. Agreed? Agreed. Nothing else. Mr. Anderson? <sighs> so you told law enforcement you didn't remember it. A lot of this, uh, is that right? Yes. You didn't tell me you didn't remember anything? No. And you did tell them what you, what you did remember? Yes. And you said you blanked out a lot, but not all of it? Yes. Did you describe the guy who stabbed you to law enforcement? I don't remember if I did or not. Would it refresh your memory to see the a transcript? Yes. Page two, just read it and look up when you're done. Do you have a fresh memory? Yes. Did you describe what you could remember about him to law enforcement? Uh, he was wearing cargo shorts. And did you describe his age? No. 
say, do you describe older or younger? Or, um, I'm going to show you again. You actually did say. Oh, I'm again. sorry. Yes. Do you recall telling law enforcement what you heard specifically when you went over? I just, I believe I said I, you never hit a girl, and that's when I reacted. Uh, I mean, I mean, before you walked over, like what you heard being yelled that caused people to walk over. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a bit uh, mixed up here. I don't remember now. Okay, would it refresh your memory to see the transcript? Yes. I'll just have a read it to yourself. Um, look up when you're done. You might have to turn the page. Two bottom two. Uh, yeah. This guy remembers even less than his brother and his dad. And he's even got a medical excuse for his selective memory. He might be useless. So, uh, does that refresh your memory on what you heard? Being it yelled? does, actually, yes. What was that? Uh, they did yell help. And this interview was when you were still at the hospital after being transported there? Yes. If that is the transcript from this room. Uh... That's the only interview you called doing with law enforcement, right? Yes. Did you describe to law enforcement about when you got stabbed? I, I don't remember if I did. Yep. He's useless, all right. Uh, it's, it's hard. I apologize. Well, yeah, that's right. Not. That's all right. I don't want you to guess. Can we approach? This? Yes. Judge, we're just going to play the interview. Any objection? No objection, Judge. Okay. Um, just kind of formalities that I'd like to everyone know before I ask them questions. Um, I wasn't there, right? So I don't know. Frequently when I talk to people, they say he, she, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, if you know their names, please use your name. Um, if it's the person that stabbed you, um, I'm fine with you using whatever term you want. A lot of people have been I saying... I the, old, the older guy in the cargo shorts. I, 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 I don't know how this is going that's perfect. Um, and then if you can add as much detail as you can, even if you think it's something that I don't, I don't care about, I might. Um, I can say I don't remember much, but I'll give you Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, and then also, if I say something that's incorrect, feel free to stop me. Say, no, nope, that's not correct, and correct me, okay? And then if I ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, perfectly acceptable to say, I don't know. Um, I don't want you to just give me an answer because I think I, I want to hear it, okay? Um, now, it sounds like I just learned that we do have video of the incident, um, which is good. But I still want to talk to people and ask them their yep. series of events as, as they portray them. Okay? Um, so if you can just kind of start from the beginning, uh, go through the middle all the way to the end with as much detail as, as you can. Well, like I said, I don't remember a lot, but what I remember to, from the start, uh, we, we were just floating down the river, and, you know, we were all in our tube at that time. Uh, well, not all of us. We were Some were just standing up in their tube because it was shallow water, and we just heard someone scream help, and Dad taught us, you know, someone screams help, go help, and so I, my little brother ran over, and... And your late brother is Dante. Dante. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, Dante uh, Carlson, he ran over, and as soon as I saw him run over, I got up and started to run over because he's just my little brother. And when I got up out of my tube, my friend A.J. Martin, the one that had his stomach sliced open, he ran with me, and he got there before me, and he tried to grab the guy, and the guy, I thought he just punched him, but he swung and sliced his stomach and then I went to go and grab his arm because I didn't want to like have him punch me and like I was I didn't even know there was a knife in his hand and I like went to like grab his hand oh, his hand stopped like I stopped his hand right. here right. and I felt something help me but I like I had adrenaline rushing through me so I didn't really think twice of it and like I like I punched the guy and like ran away from him and I turned around and I see my friend like literally with his stomach like, in his hands and I ran over to help him. And that was AJ? And, yep, AJ, sorry. And I went and grabbed AJ and like there was, I don't remember who was with me, there was some girl, uh, just a random girl I came with and she came over and helped carry him to the shore practically and like lay him down and just, I sat with, I sat with him and kept his head held up and then 
that was pretty much it until the paramedics came by and they took them and then they took me and that that's all I remember but as I know it's not a lot or I wish I could cope more but. dude why and I don't mean this in a demeaning way or, or whatever but why do you think that you can't remember a lot. Uh, just the stress, the trauma. Did you get some medication so, or something? Uh, yeah, I, I got. I took Keppra, and uh, I have seizures. Okay. And so, like the entire time that it was happening, I was like on the verge of having a seizure. I know. Every time I have one, I just don't remember anything. What happened to try and get? I just yeah, I was blanking out. A lot. How do you How do you feel right now? Do you feel okay now? I mean, I'm fine. I, I took my Keppra and everything, and I just you know I'm just shaking. But I'm fine though. Yeah. And where where were you? It's my right page. I assume your injuries are all bandaged up now, right? Yeah. I, he just got me right here with it, and then I think that's like what happened when I like went to block it, and then when he like tried to actually grab it, and that's when I pushed his hand down. That's when it hit me right here, and I can't tell. Is that bleeding? Uh, it might be a little bit. Um, but, yeah, and then he, well, they they couldn't stitch it completely closed because otherwise it couldn't cause infection and right. such. Sure so they just put two stitches in it and called it good. But, yeah, no, they said that the, my ribs stopped the knife, I guess, from entering anymore. Do you mind if I take a quick photo of that? Oh, no, it's, it's fine. Do you want me? I don't have any chaos. Mr. Nelson? Briefly, um, your we'll talk about it in that interview, and I just want to make sure your dad told you to go over there, correct? I'm sorry, what? When you were in the twos before you went over to the other group where there was a bunch of people that you said, right? Before you went there, your dad had told you something. Agree? Yes. And one of the, what your dad told you was go make sure they don't attack that guy. That's what your dad told me. I don't remember what he said exactly. Okay, thank you, that's all. Thank you, Mr. Carlson. You may step down. Is he released? Um, no. All right, please see the witness coordinator in the back. She'll tell you what to do next. Jeez, man. So when you're trying to de-escalate or stop a fight like this, you should never go after the guy who's being attacked by multiple people, at least not first. And when there are multiple people attacking that person, obviously you can't get to all of them at the same time. So you just go with one first, you neutralize one, get one of them off of him, convince that person to stop attacking, then go for another one. And maybe you can even convince those people to help you stop the others. Once you get all the attackers off of him, then he can calm down and realize he's no longer in danger. And I'm afraid you're just not going to convince me that Mr. Short-Term Memory over here didn't understand what was happening to Mr. Mew because he knew at least half of those people and the other half he had been witnessing the entire thing ahead of time. So he knew what was happening. Now, I'm not saying he wasn't trying to stop the fight. I believe he was actually trying to stop the fight. He's just not very good at it. Overall, I really don't think he had much information to add, but I went ahead and left him in anyway because he was one of the stabbies, if you will and he was obviously highly involved. But at the end of the day, he doesn't know anything. So moving on, I'll be back soon with that redheaded chick. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. I hate to break it to you, but Cori Bush is not only illiterate, she's also retarded. <laughs>